Man. Well, we could see some, yes, snowflakes <laughs> this week. <laughs> yeah, in fact, they're already getting snow in South Dakota and Minnesota, a half foot in some oh. areas. The Fox River in Racine County is receding, but the town of Waterford remains under an emergency. Sandbags are available for anyone who needs them. Brian Goddard joins us with the forecast, and uh, Brian, I guess they are hoping we do not get rain. Exactly. Any rain right now is not a welcome sight, but at least it will not be the rain uh, that we had over the past couple of weeks, the two to four, even the five inch amounts uh, that have caused all this flooding. Yes, more rain on the way. The clouds have already arrived. The rain shower is now moving into southwestern Wisconsin. La Crosse seeing some rain and still snowing in the Twin Cities, Eau Claire and up towards uh, Rice Lake and Superior and Bayfield. And it's going to taper off later this overnight hours. Six to nine inches of snow. I would not be shocked if there's an isolated higher amount than that. This is the third storm in as many weeks out to the northwest of us. We are having a miserable spring. They are having an even worse one. So for today, we had the front move through. The temperatures off to the west of us, a good 20 to 30 degrees below normal. We were actually normal today. It was very comfortable with the sunshine, a little breezy out there, but highs near 60. We don't have to worry about a 20 to 30 degree drop over the next couple of days. This front will start to lose some of its steam. It's going to get a couple of degrees cooler for Tuesday and Wednesday, but that is it. And the only reason it's really cooler tomorrow, because of the cloud cover and the rain shower activity. The winds will come out of the northwest. We will drop into the 40s by late in the afternoon. But even then on Wednesday, we'll see some sunshine and highs near 50 degrees. Today, 57 after a morning low of 39. Normal for a change. 91 in 1980s, the record. A year ago today, it was 50 degrees, and we've had almost 7 inches of rain. So far, this is in the top three for wettest Aprils. We're over 4 inches above normal, and that's here in Milwaukee. There have been other spots that have seen even more. Still holding on to 50 degrees here in Milwaukee and Port Washington. One of the warmest evenings we've had in a long time. Janesville's almost 60, Madison at 58, and 52 in Watertown after being in the upper 60s this afternoon. The winds have died down. They're still out of the southeast, but the cloud cover and that wind out of the south is going to help keep those temperatures up. Our lows tonight will only drop into the mid to upper 40s. We were struggling to get to those temperatures over the weekend for highs. Southeast winds at 5 to 15. Rain showers move in here overnight, sometime after 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. So yes, the roads will be wet for the morning commute and for the kids sitting at the bus stop. Highs on Wednesday will get into the upper 40s to lower 50s around the noon hour, and that westerly wind will then shift to the northwest at 10 to 20, and then look for those temperatures to start dropping throughout the afternoon. We'll be in the lower to mid 40s by around 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So a warm front just to the north of us tonight, keeping us in the 40s, and then the rain showers throughout the day tomorrow, about a quarter to half inch. So we're not going to see heavy rains, but we don't want to see anything right now after all this rainy weather we've had the past couple of weeks. Then for Wednesday and Thursday, sunshine. In fact, the rest of the week looks to be pretty dry, except for a slight chance of an isolated shower on Friday. Tonight, 46 degrees, increasing clouds, showers after 3 a.m. Tomorrow, the rain showers off and on throughout the day. Keep the umbrella handy. 52 for high midday and then falling throughout the afternoon. Your seven-day forecast, 50 on Wednesday, 52 on Thursday, 58 with an isolated shower on Friday. So even though the cold front's coming through, we stay comfortable, and then it's all worth it. Look at the weekend. Ooh. Sunshine and 60s. Nice. Aww. And Ashlyn Schmidt, age five, is Cute. happy. Even though it's raining again tomorrow, she knows what's coming for the weekend. Love that hat. When Absolutely. you're five, you're always happy, <laughs> right? <laughs> this is true. Uh, we are Today's DMJ4 is teaming up with Quick Trip to give one 